The upcoming Galaxy S23 Ultra may still feature the Exynos 2300 SoC in some markets. We know for sure that Samsung will exclusively use the Snapdragon processor in the Galaxy S23 lineup, and now we're getting some really interesting information about this chipset and its capabilities. It's too early to be sure of what exactly Samsung's next Galaxy S23 flagship phone series will offer, but market watchers continue to speculate. Qualcomm went to TSMC instead of Samsung Foundry to make their chipset, and that alone made a world of difference. Samsung is finally bringing a new 200 megapixel ISO cell sensor, that is not just megapixel bump for the camera it has much more features. I think Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 coming with the Galaxy S23 Ultra is stronger enough to handle the 8K video recording on this 200 megapixel sensor. Optimization plays a big role as seen in my speed test between the S22 Ultra and the 14 Pro Max where despite Apple claiming their chipset is 40% faster than the competition. It failed to beat the S22 Ultra in normal day-to-day -day apps and games. The Exynos 2200 may have been underwhelming doesn't mean Samsung's chipset division has given up, and there are plenty of signs to suggest that Samsung is now developing the Exynos 2300 chipset. Qualcomm's CEO confirmed the 70 to 30 ratio between Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and Xynos 2200 Galaxy S22 models earlier this year. Qualcomm went to TSMC instead of Samsung Foundry to make their chipset, and that alone made a world of difference. Assuming this is true and if history repeats itself, it's possible that customers in Europe will get the Exynos 2300 chipset inside the Galaxy S23 while most of the world will get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The S23 we get a 6.1-inch display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 for the S23 Plus we get a 6.6 display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 and then for the S23 Ultra we get a 6.8 display with a resolution of 3088 by 1440. Ice Universe published the exact dimensions of the Galaxy S23 series. The new models grew by a fraction of a millimeter in height and width and that came from extra bezels. To be specific, 0.15 mm on all four sides around the display. The display size however will remain the same. Given that the new iPhones are featuring Samsung's new display with 2000 nits of peak brightness, we expect to see this on their own phones as well but of course that will be the most premium display and saved for the S23 Ultra only. Let me know it down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.